King making out. So already a lot of names like making out their winner side that I didn't expect yeah. to see making out their winner side. That's really cool. We're getting into it though. Lamb and Kells both in the lobby once again. And uh, we're, we're gearing up. We're already into it. Kells, you know, super solid conversions. Really, really crazy good Sonic player. Lamb, very talented Pichu player. Yeah, definitely. Pichu, that's always asking for games and you really record. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. And get so, those games. On the ground. Ooh, combo games look solid. That's a stock already for Lamb, too. The Thunder? Yeah. yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye. Pichu hits hard. Kels had a solid lead starting off, and then Lamb brought it back with one extremely solid combo. And you ha I'm saying, this is the scary part of Pichu. These Pichu players have been so oppressed that they've been beaten into submission, and they have super disciplined combo games in advantage states. You gotta be careful. You gotta, you gotta watch yourself for good Pichu players. Yeah, they're like, yo, one combo, death. One combo can kill me. I am a b I'm baby. I need to do my best. This is like, I feel like Pichu's one character you just can't, like, autopilot with. No, your autopilot for the character has to be so good. Yeah, for real. <laughs> your autopilot has to be really good play. <laughs> Cause there's characters that can definitely autopilot their advantage states really, really well. Uh, but Pichu's definitely not one of those characters. You have to have those links on deck. Ooh, a little too much. Yeah. I, I didn't know Pichu's uh, side B had that much end lag in comparison to like Pikachu's. I feel like Pikachu would have been able to make it back from there. So if it hits the shield, high. it does it. But if it whiffs, it, there's a lot. How high is PS2's uh, ground? Like it's its basement, do you know? That's a good question. Yeah, I don't right. know. I don't know. I don't got that knowledge on deck. Oh, boy. All right, trying to get the raw thunder to punish that right there. Kel's looking like in a bit of a bind right now. She she doesn't seem to be really finding uh, these like big conversions she needs. Like this, these T jolt usages from Lamb have been really really good. Combo game's been solid. Kel's Kel's got to be careful. Oh, oh my ooh, god. my god! Just that 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 sounded raw. Yeah, it's it sounded too strong for Pichu. All right, the Lamb looking pretty good right now. Right out of shield up smash right there. Uh, Kel just can't seem to find damage, you know, using Spin Dash to try and get in, trying to stall it up. But uh, I feel like Pichu is one of those characters that ha is, first of all, Pichu's hella small. Uh, T-Jolt is fantastic for uh, deterring, like, grounded play uh, from Sonic. So, and at that point, I feel like all the guesswork is eliminated for Lamb, and Lamb can just kind of play out of shield. Or just catch a, a slip up on Kels' part. But Kels seems to be slowing it down a lot more uh, now. Just trying to find that opening. And I wouldn't say desperately, because she's retreating to the stage to recompose herself every single time. Oh, the loops, though. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Got my iPod stuck on replay, replay. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> Got the loop. <laughs> the loop, though. <laughs> I am just like also just like not afraid to just stand their ground literally on, on the platform. Yeah. <laughs> definitely one of the best parts of this player. Lamb definitely a lamb, but they ain't no sheep. They they ain't being led to the slaughter right now. A good nair conversion yeah. right there. Looking now in the realm of, of possibility for Kells for sure at this point. Oh, these solid out of shield hits from uh, Lamb, like one good conversion could, could do Lamb a lot of good here. Kels has got to be very careful that she, that she doesn't whiff on shield right here. Yeah, our stings will be really detrimental. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Hanging in the center stage, Lamb just desperately trying to cling to life now. Just trying not to allow themselves to get opened up anymore. Kels, I, I think, has found a proper tempo. Oops. Sit in shield, just hanging in there. This is looking mighty rough. Not gonna get the conversion. Sonic's Sonic spin dashes don't work sometimes. Oh! Work. Wow, the jump call out right there by Kells. That was really good. Lamb wanted to get like a counter hit out of hit stun, and you know, he got caught mashing. Piece of cake, said Sonic. Sonic, Sonic that didn't look like a piece of cake. That looked kind of hard, but you did it. So yeah, good yeah. job. Sonic? He's like, yo, it was easy. Man does the most <laughs> complex things in the world. <laughs> yeah, Sonic was like, I, I, Kels was really watching herself a lot of those times during the approaches, too. Like, she was not playing games. Yeah, and you saw how he just caught the jump. Mm -hmm. 
again. A lot of players do like to jump out the corner. It's true. One of the best options from getting off ledge, but can't do it too much because then people just start to recognize. Real recognize real and jumps recognize get, <laughs> get called it's out. It's true. Spitting. I do nothing but spit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hopping back into it for sure though. So these pools are definitely winding down quite a bit now. We're getting to the very latter half of pools. Uh, so thank you guys for joining us uh, here today. Make sure you follow um, Collision, everything they have as well. You could follow Kelvin at a mediocre on Twitter. Our, lo yeah. our lovely streamer. Uh, you can follow us. Follow casters. us. Sure. Follow Reggie at uh, player underscore four. That's player four with an I as an L. And yeah. you can also follow. You can, you can pronounce it. You can also follow me at Fan9S or Fangs, but the G is a nine. So, yeah. We don't know how to spell out here, but we can talk about the game. Spelling was hard. <laughs> Spelling is hard. <laughs> you know, I'm like still in the fourth grade, man. <laughs> Why do you think the four is there? <laughs> oh my god, out for Lamb, out for blood off the bat. Yeah, right. Lamb's like, yo, I'm gonna get a stock. So Lamb counterpicking to Smashville, definitely a good pick. A lot less horizontal area for uh, for Kels to run away to, and for good reason. Yeah, You're not escaping uh... Lamb. This is Satan's Lamb. <laughs> <laughs> Cut the power of Diablo out here. <laughs> yeah, we broke it. <laughs> Give him some Jesus. <laughs> Hell's <laughs> down a really early stock now too. That's not what you want to see against. Yeah, you know, that's not what you want to be on against P Pichu. You know, Pichu. Pichu's a character who suffers at the hands of trades. So if you're if you're up on Pichu or your your Pichu's up on you, like you're just gonna be trading constantly. Yeah. That's how all the like characters work out. Um, like mm. Squirtle, Pichu, J Puff. Game to watch to a degree. Fox. You trade with them? Cheek. You oh, yeah. winning. It's true, it's true. Right. Oh man, Lamb. Just using these T jolts to kind of dissipate any sort of uh any sort of pressure. But with every single T jolt they bring themselves closer to, you know, higher and higher damage. Like we're already at, we're already sitting at a hot one oh eight right now, and I, I can't even imagine how much of that damage has been personal damage as well. Yeah, that, that yeah. led to F smash, and that's gonna kill. So I, I feel like Kells has the right play in mind to bring this lead back, because literally you can just let Pichu hurt himself because he is baby. He doesn't know how to control all that electricity yet. Yeah, that, that's why he hurt himself. That, that's why he also has kind of these schmicks combos. Oh yeah. When he's Pikachu, he's like, oh, I'm a bit older. I'm gonna settle down and do other things in the bag. If there's one thing that's valued in this game, I feel like it's consistency, you know? So I feel like a lot of character players will would value, you know, a lot of characters used to value Pichu because the peaks were a lot higher, but now that Pichu has received a few nerfs, I feel like a lot of players value consistency, the consistency in Pikachu a lot more. Yeah, no, I see what you're saying. Too many variables with Pichu, you know, there's too much guesswork now. The, the combos aren't as lethal, the damage doesn't get dealt as hard. And the hurt box got changed, I think, as well. So those yeah, big old, it's, those big, big it's old bigger ears. than Pikachu. Oh, yeah. Because those big old ears. Remember when I killed? <laughs> killed from my farm oh, yeah, dude. I remember that. Holy crap, you're right. Pikachu used to use that move like it was their Bible. I thought, Figa, I've killed killing. Yeah. It's still put in the work. I right, thought Lamb got a nice hefty lead, but you know they can't be affording to do self damage. Honestly, at this point, I feel like Lamb shouldn't even shouldn't even be throwing out like T jolt so frequently. I feel like just waiting for Kels to approach because Kels has been running fully across stage every every time she's done with whatever she's doing. So I feel like yeah. Lamb should just be waiting, you know, center stage or camping platform or something, or just like a solid out of shield punish. And it seems like that's what that uh, what Lamb is going for right now. Yeah, no, I agree with you on this statement. Mm -hmm. Cause you're doing all that self damage. You went from 103 to like 122 in an, in an instant, and one confirmed because you're dead. Yeah, you're dead here. All that self damage just rising up. You know, you can you can just not do anything in this game. It's perfect. You you don't always have to be interacting or engaging your opponent. You know, and that that's what Kells is using right here. And I feel like it's you know as as she's at a deficit, she's able to not let herself bleed too much off of it because she's valuing. You know, the consistency of, of not interacting a lot more. And Lamb is just getting eaten up for breakfast. Call him? Oh, okay. Not this yet. Now, now, Kels is in the lead. Now that self damage plus just the walloping that uh, that Super Kels has been 
Subaru Cal has been doing on uh, on Lamb is uh, it's frightening, to be honest. Yeah, no, it is one of the most frightening. Oh my god, I thought Kels was down there for some reason. Ooh. Looking mighty scary for Lamb, though. Again, more salt damage being tacked up over time, and Pichu's one one good hit away from knocking on Death's door. And uh, there you have it. <laughs> yeah. Well, Subaru Cal is going to be taking it uh, 2-0. Sonic back here. Take it's it. a rough life for Pichu out here. When you, when your best zoning tool does damage to you. But Kel is looking really, really good. Going to be shooting out of pools. Winter side, you know. Got joining uh, Sonics in terms of being uh, Sonic players that have made it out of pools. 